The U.S. Air Force, on August 19th, conducted its latest test of a prototype hypersonic AGM-183A Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, or Arrow. This was the first test attempt since an unfortunate failed test in March this year. The U.S. Air Force said in a statement that a B-52H Stratofortress released a fully operational prototype Arrow known as the All Up Round off the coast of Southern California. The service stated that the test was meant for collecting data that it hopes will help it develop future weapons that can travel at greater than Mach 5. The service declined to comment on its particular goals and stopped short of confirming or denying whether it thought the test was successful. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. military is testing Arrow that was previously acknowledged to be a failure. Let's get started. The HEM-183A Arrow is a long-range hypersonic missile. The missile was designed to enhance the USAF's hypersonic strike capacity, enabling it to engage heavily fortified, high-priority targets like enemy military installations and surface warships from standoff distances. Hypersonic weapons travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, or more than 3,836 miles per hour, and are highly maneuverable, which makes them difficult to track and shoot down. The AGM-183 comprises a rocket booster and an unpowered hypersonic boost glide vehicle housed within the missile's nose cone. The booster propels the boost glide vehicle to the desired speed and altitude, where it is then separated from the rest of the weapon and then glides to the target, attaining hypersonic speed. The August 19th launch is the eighth known live-fire test of Arrow and the third one intended to involve a complete end-to-end -end flight. The first end-to-end -end test, which occurred on December 9, 2022, was successful. The situation is fascinating, considering that the future of the Arrow appears uncertain following a series of unsuccessful tests. When the test failed in March, U.S. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall confirmed that the test involving the Arrow was not a success. Kendall also told lawmakers the service was more committed to the HACM, or Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile, than Arrow, and that the Arrow's future is in doubt, with a decision on whether to continue with the program likely to come as part of the fiscal 2025 budget process. This gave rise to speculations that the service would focus solely on HACM, the other hypersonic program in the USAF arsenal. While Aero is made by Lockheed Martin, HACM is being developed by Raytheon and Northrop Grumman. The Chief of Air Force Acquisition testified before Congress earlier this year that the service had opted not to procure the AGM-183A beyond its prototyping phase. These developments were viewed as a setback for Arrow and the U.S. Hypersonic Weapon Initiative as a whole. In another March hearing, the U.S. Air Force Acquisition Chief Andrew Hunter said the U.S. Air Force was still planning to conduct the last two Arrow all-up round test flights to collect data for future hypersonic programs. The U.S. Air Force claimed that it had gained valuable new insights into the capabilities of the Arrow and that the information would benefit the advancement of both the Arrow and HACM. The service said that the test focused on Arrow's end-to-end -end performance and that it also validated and improved the service's test and evaluation capabilities to continue to develop advanced hypersonic systems. In a statement to Defense News, Lockheed said it has full confidence in the maturity and production readiness of Arrow following this flight test. Lockheed said, We continue to partner with the U.S. Air Force on Arrow hypersonic strike capabilities by conducting operational end-to-end -end testing. 
further validating the design and production of the system. American legislators have voiced apprehension over the perceived lack of effort by the U.S. military to advance and deploy hypersonic weapons, raising concerns that the country might be lagging behind Chinese and Russian advancements in hypersonic capabilities. Russia has already fielded Avangard and Kinzhal, whereas China has deployed DFZF and YJ-21. Kinzhal has actually been used in the Ukraine-Russia conflict. For some time, the American military was undecided when it came to developing and deploying hypersonic weapons. This led to the U.S. military lagging in this technology. However, there is now a unanimous agreement, emphasized by the U.S. Department of Defense officials, that hypersonic weapons have become a national imperative. While Arrow and HACM are different types of weapons, the latter being a cruise missile, not a glider, there are various areas where information from the test could help, like physical and thermal stress management of components. Technically, one last test of Arrow is expected to be scheduled, and it remains to be seen if that will be it of the program or if something is changed after the latest test. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.